Hey guys, Mike here. Today I want to show you a super quick way to design a creature using Google's Chimera Painter and Clip Studio Paint. Hey everybody, so I've been a bit uninspired lately, um, but I had an idea to mess around with Google's Chimera Painter. Um, I don't know much about AI stuff, uh, but long story short, uh, this is some sort of AI tool that takes your simple doodle and renders a somewhat realistic creature. Um, I think everyone should mess around with it. It's a lot of fun. So the first thing is I just clear the screen. Um, it comes preloaded with some examples of what you can do. Um, but here are the basics. Um, you click the corresponding color uh, to, for the different body parts of your creature. Like right now, this is the uh, head color. Um, now I'm doing the mouth. I wanted to keep it kind of simple. Um, I'm imagining this is some sort of floating head with uh, many um, eyes on stalks and just like a big, big mouth with nasty teeth. That's my uh, thinking. Um, anyway, when you're ready, hit the transform button and watch the magic happen. You can keep revising your doodle and rendering until you're happy. Don't be afraid to uh, do it again. Add some more stuff. Check it. Oh, that, that's too happy. Um, <laughs> not enough teeth. Okay, adding some teeth. All right, let's see. Better. Needs a nose. Yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Cover it up. Try again. Yep. Uh, better. Gonna make, make him a little bit fatter on the bottom. Give him a nastier mouth. Yeah, almost there. Make sure to add teeth, lots of teeth. You need teeth. Perfect. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to right click, save the image onto my computer. not a beholder. He's a looker. <laughs> now you could just stop right here and you have a perfectly good creature for whatever purpose you need. But I'm gonna take it uh, one step further. I'm gonna open up Clip Studio Paint. I am going to make a canvas uh, that's 2,000 by 3,000 pixels um, at 600 dpi just so you know have a good quality image first thing i'm going to import that chimera image i'm going to scale it up i'm going to rotate it a bit find that rotating my drawings, I don't know, 
makes them more dynamic, gives them more life. I don't know. Maybe it, maybe that's not the right word. Uh, I'm going to use the lasso tool um, to cut the creature out from the background. I just hit Control X and then Control V. He's sent to a new layer. I'll then focus on the background. Um, just get a big oil paint brush, select the background color, kind of go wild. I'm not too concerned about details in the background. Just want to fill it in. And yeah, I don't want the background to distract too much from the creature. So just go wild. I then use the blend tool. Um, it adds a nice atmosphere. If you ever need to do a, a fog or a mist, this is the tool that can achieve that look. Adding a little more white, because it looks like the light source is coming from the right hand side. Uh, so just add, add that, blend a little more. Yeah, it looks all right. Clouds or something. I don't know. So there's the background. Now I'm just going ahead and uh, cleaning up, somewhat cleaning up the edges of the creature. You don't have to go too crazy there. Then I'll start with the mouth um, using the cat's tongue brush. Um, it's a pretty neat brush I, I purchased from Ruben Lara. Um, you can find him on YouTube. He's got a lot of good lessons. Um, so I'm just starting filling in the dark parts of the mouth, um, accentuating the teeth, maybe even adding some new teeth, taking away some teeth, I don't know, it's just go, go wild. Um, kind of selecting the colors that are already in the image and just uh, painting over. One thing to keep in mind um, in this particular image said the light source is coming from the right hand side uh, so the right hand side of the creature should be a little bit lighter than the left hand side um, so you should draw things more in shadow on the left hand side currently at the, oh my god, this looks like crap stage. I'll tell you the secret. Just keep going. It'll get better. <laughs> uh, filling in some black orbs for the eyes. Uh, adding some darker shadows 
to the left hand side of things. I didn't want to go too crazy, just trying to keep it like a loose, painterly kind of a sketch, a bit rough, um, but we'll see what we come up with in the end. Adding some white highlights to the right hand side. Okay, using some of the blue background color and adding a bit of reflection to the black orbs that make up the eyeballs. One thing, this is, you know, still a rough painting, but one thing I want to achieve is some nice, sharp, nasty looking teeth. So filling in uh, with, you know, black inside the mouth, um, and maybe add some extra teeth, some other highlights, some different different colors. And then I'm using uh, the oily blender brush, uh, mix some things up, blend some things, and I think he's pretty much done. And one last thing, using the G-Pen and some white just adding, adding what might be the light source coming from the right hand side. Well, there you have it. A finished creature in about an hour. Um, I highly recommend uh, that you go and check out Google's Chimera Painter. I will add a link below. Um, you can have a lot of fun and make a cool creature in like five minutes. And then if you want, you can take that and make it a little bit more your own um, using this method. And if you do make your own creature, I'd love to see it. Share it with me on here or Twitter or Instagram, wherever. All right. Talk to you guys later.